Hey there, Lucas here, and I want to welcome you to my to the second part of my little uh, teaching series. And in this part of the series, we want to take a look at um, how to improve the footage that we have on a technical basis, so we get more out of it. We get a better key, and um, yeah, overall a better result. This is not uh, specifically interesting for keying, but also if you have to do some very heavy color correction or very uh, heavy color grading, this can be an interesting technique. So uh, just let's get started and hop in. So again, I'll have uh, footage from HollywoodCameraWork.us here, and um, this is pretty good to show you what what um, this is all about. So basically, we have this young lady here with the blue dress and her uh, half translucent uh, cloth, doing things in slow motion. So and now let's take a closer look at the footage. So maybe look at the chin area here, and what we can see easily is that. Um, the chin is a bit choppy and a bit uh, pixelated and the edges so within the face It's fine within the green screen. It's fine, but the edges are not, Well, not, not that good. So um, now let's take a look at the color channels. We can cycle them with alt and one two three so we can uh, take a look at them and especially in the green and uh, no, the, the red and the blue channel we can see um, the issues right away and um, Just to make this a bit of a uh, so I just want to show you how this affects really the footage in the end. So what I want to do is I want to pre-compose this footage. You do this with uh, Shift, Control and C or Shift, Command and C when you're in a Macintosh. So I want to put this all with our attributes in a new composition. I want to call this base footage just so it's a bit more organized. So now I want to duplicate this uh, footage. And what I want to do now is I want to apply um, the despilling that I did in my last, uh, in the last episode of this uh, King series. Uh, you should, uh, if, if you want really interested in this a bit more, um, you should check out the whole video because it's a bit, um, yeah, it was a bit long and a bit detailed. So right now I don't want to get too much into this. I just apply my little uh, preset and set the blending mode to darken. So now we can have, we have the dispilled uh, version of this footage and we can easily see in the hairs and around her chin that this is really not uh, really good. So we have a few problems um, that we will have to face and what are we going to do about this? So what I want to do is I want to step into this uh, comp. So we have the base footage in this comp and um, now what we are going to do here in this comp will be equally done in the, both of these uh, clips, which is pretty ne neat to, uh, for what are we gonna do. So, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna make a new solid. You do this with uh, Control Y or Command Y when you're in a Macintosh, and I wanna call this um, smoothing. You can just call this whatever you want. So make comp size. And what I'm going to do first is I want to set this little switch so it's an adjustment layer because it's um, an adjustment layer and the solid the basic difference is this little switch. So and now I want to get an effect called median. So median um, is basically an effect uh, used for noise reduction. And now just set this to maybe three or let's take it to four. And you can see what median does. Uh, basically, this is nothing that really helps us at all. But you can see there's some quite some smoothing around the edges, and um, this is pretty much what we want. So the, uh, the, the key, but what we're going to do now is we don't apply median to the whole image, but only to the color channels. So when we get the blending mode to color, we will only affect the color channels, and uh, equally when we do it to uh, luminosity, we will only affect the luma channel. So, but we want to only affect the, the color channels. And the, uh, the basic thing what we want to do is with median is we want to set this value as low as possible. Also, um, median is a bit slow, so you might uh, consider to um, yeah, pre-render uh, the clip before you go into keying. However, I want to don't want to do this right now, so I maybe set this to three. So this could already help. Maybe two. Uh, maybe even one is enough. Ah, no, that's not enough. So I want to put this to three, so we have a pretty good value. Now let's uh, head back to our comp with um, with the despill on, and you can already see how much improved, uh, how much this easy trick improved our uh, our footage right away. So when you look in her hair and her chin, 
we have a much better result. I just want to show you. So I will set, I will lock the the viewport here and go into this comp and just uh, deactivate the median layer. And yeah, uh, I think this is pretty interesting how how good this effect helps us, especially with the hair detail around here. So we get much richer edges and. Um, especially for keying, this is a very great trick. However, um, as this helps generally with with the channels, um, it's actually a good thing when you do some uh, heavy post-production on your shots. This is generally a good idea to maybe filter your footage just a bit uh, with this technique. So, I think this is really interesting, what, what we can pull out of this. Basically, what we do is virtually we enhance the um, color... Uh, color uh, color depth of our footage. So, um, this is already it because there's nothing, not really more that we have to do to improve our footage before we get into keying. Uh, if your shot is pretty noisy, of course, you should always apply some sort of uh, denoising like uh, neat video, which is my favorite. However, uh, for uh, the, the uh, general uh, general pre-production of our, our clips, we don't have to do much more than apply this median effect to the color channels and have a much better key. So uh, thanks for watching and stand by for the third part of the series where we actually go into key. No doubt. So uh, see you next time. Bye.